Okay, so check this out. Not too long ago, I was watching a video by Vincent Rhodes, and he the name of the video was The Firmament Finally Proven Creatures Caught on Tape. And he was showing these things called sprites. Now, you've probably seen sprites before. They're usually strange anomalies that you see in the clouds. Much like these right here. They're little electrical discharges that you can sometimes see dancing above the top of a cloud or coming down from outside of a cloud, so forth and so on. You see what I'm saying? But in this video, Vincent was showing them bouncing off what appears to be the firmament, and I think he's right. More so, he went into something in this particular video, which I sent him an email asking for a link. He didn't get back to me before I actually found it on my own. And this is the link right here that I'm talking about. So check this out. I'll leave links to this video in the description. Check this out. This is chapter 18 of the book of Enoch. And now I know a bunch of Christians and Catholics are gonna both roll their eyes saying, this book was never canonized. Well, let me ask you something. I don't care what the Vatican does. I don't care if they canonize it or not because any place that has this in their building or their house of God, I'm not listening to them. We've already figured out over the years that the Vatican is nothing more than straight up evil. This is a sculpture by Fasini and it's called the Resurrection. And if you look at this, this is not Jesus coming forth through the clouds with angels behind him. This is nothing more than death and demonic and it's coming forth out of the ground. Now, if you've read the Bible, you know that when Jesus comes, he will come from the clouds and every eye will see him. Look at the size and the scale of this. This doesn't look anything like I am the light, the truth, or the way. This is all death. I mean, this is Jesus' head, and the first thing you notice is a, de a demonic-looking thing right here. All of this is absolutely horrible, so I don't care if they canonized it. And as a matter of fact, the fact that they didn't canonize it leads me to lean more towards the fact that it's probably completely true. The thing that really got me this it was Enoch describing what it looked like walking or traveling through the firmament. It said, I then surveyed the receptacles of all the winds, perceiving that they contributed to adorn the whole creation and to preserve the foundation of the earth. I surveyed the stone which supports the corners of the earth. I also beheld the four winds which bear up the earth and the firmament of heaven. And I beheld the winds occupying the exalted skies. Now, this is the one right here that really got me. And I think I actually have proof of it. So this is going to freak you out a little bit. So listen to this. Chapter 18, verse 15, the book of Enoch. Then the angel said, this is the place until the consummation of heaven and earth will be the prison of the stars and the host of heavens. The stars which roll over fire are those which transgress, transgress the commandment of God before their time arrived, for they came not in their proper season. Therefore was he offended with them and bound them until the period of the consummation of their crimes in the secret year. Richie, what the hell are you talking about? Well, this struck me. This stuck with me. Prison of the stars. Now, do you remember this video I did? The sons of the angels of God looked upon the daughters of men and found them fair and took of their wives and their sons became of old great men of renown. So they have been mixing with us on a genetic level since the time of Enoch and Ezekiel's will. Here on earth we're retreat by the sun, moon, and stars And imagine there's got to be planets like ours So conceive of a face on the surface of Mars So in need of a meaning and purpose we lost And indeed they believe that they might be our gods Or that maybe with time we'll do right and evolve And eventually reach what they seek And then solve all the problems of man But they really don't know that they fall And the works of our hands are but just filthy rags So we travel the lands to dig up our past Time elapses and with it are much of the facts Some imagine that gods came in alien crafts They react in this way They're so desperate for meaning and purpose But satanic servants They know this They have evil motives Am I making you nervous? I'm just scratching the surface Signs from Ezekiel
eels wheel When the skies unfold like scrolls And the breaking of seals Heed the warning The message is clear Heed the warning The time draws near Okay, so that was just a little shout out to my boys from Destiny's Lab and their song, Ezekiel's Wheel. I put this video up not too long ago and it was a star that I caught in the sky with a Nikon P1000. Well, recently while on the road, I caught numerous videos of stars and after reading chapter 18 of the book of Enoch, it all started to make sense. Now, I've told you this before. People that have met me have seen this. This stuff all just comes to me as it comes to me. I prayed and asked for clarification, and I think this is it. Could I be wrong? Maybe, but I really don't think I am, so check this out. This is the video that I took in Death Valley, and then I got the same video in Texas. I got the same video in California. This is a star, a regular star. I'm using a Nikon P1000 on a Manfrotto tripod, and I'm zoomed in on the star, and the star is moving. This, this is on a tripod. I'm not holding this by hand. This is on a tripod. And this is what a star looks like when you zoom in on it. And you can watch it dance around, so forth and so on. But I want to show you the difference if it ever comes back. There it is. You see that right there? You see what it just did? That watch see that this is on a tripod these aren't suns that are millions and millions of light years away these are exactly exactly what the bible whether it was canonized or not told us they were that's an angel those are illuminaries now i'm showing you this because it looks a lot different from what we were calling ezekiel's wheel correct a lot different this is the thing that i caught in Massachusetts there was there wasn't a lot of light pollution around and we were looking at it and I mean that's it that's it once again Nikon P1000 on a Manfrotto tripod set up this thing is flashing on and off moving around but notice the wheel or the bars or the prison of the stars the prison of the stars now if you read this this is the book of Enoch this is not nothing Enoch was good. Enoch didn't die. God took Enoch. Do you see what I'm saying? If you read through all of this, and it isn't very much, it explains things, okay? Every once in a while, I get a video from somebody, an uh, email from somebody saying, Richie, stop talking about this flat earth. Well, here's the deal. Go back in my videos. I started coming out with the flat earth about three years ago, and I started talking about it more and more because I started proving it to myself. Other people have put up really good videos. Rob Skeeb has explained certain things. NASA lied. NASA lied about everything. They can't go to the moon. The moon isn't something that you can land on. So there's that. We're not on an Earth that's going 1,000 miles and 66,000 miles and going through the Milky Way at a quarter of a million miles away, so forth and so on. The sun and moon are local. The sun and moon are lights. And I've proven this to myself, and I'm going to prove it to you for the most part. I spend a lot of time watching these things, a lot of time. This is back from November, and that's a light. This is a light, because the way they explained to us the other day about the blood, wolf, moon, and the eclipse, and so forth and so on, well, here's the deal. Using a little bit of common sense, you can tell that if you're staring at a fully illuminated moon in the sky to the east at night, and the sun has set behind you in the west, the earth is in the way. So every single night we should have an eclipse or something to that effect, and we do not. Okay? This isn't the best footage in the world, but it clearly shows that the moon is an illuminated object. Look at that. That is exactly what that looks like. It's a lit object. Do you see what I'm saying? On the fourth day of creation, God made two great lights the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. And he made the stars as well. God set these lights in the expanse of the sky to shine upon earth, to preside over the day and the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. Well, I'm going to go with God on this one, because God's pretty good at this. And with just a little bit of common sense, 
get rid of the NASA nonsensical bullshit. Understand that right now, their main concern about censoring people on YouTube is 9-11 and the flat earth. There's a reason for that. Because I don't walk through my daily life and bump into people going, geez, Richie, don't you think the earth is flat? No, I don't hear it. I don't hear it. It's a tiny little minority. There's less of us awake people than there are gay people. And gay people, you'd think that half the world was gay. And you'd think that none of us were awake. And yet we're being banned and they're being pushed forth into the public imagination. There's your answer. If the moon is to my east and the sun has set behind me to, a, to the point where I can no longer see it, there is no way it's illuminating this moon. Do you see what I'm saying? And there's plenty of evidence out there everywhere. But let's go back to this again. Stars are a prison. And I think they're right. Now make sure you watch this in 4K. This is the first little fella that I zoomed in on. Again, it's on a tripod. Look at this thing, moving all around, flashing on and off, but you notice that there's a huge difference between that and the other star that I believe these round wheel looking things are the prison of the stars. I'm almost positive of it because look at the difference between this fella right here and then this fella. This fella is pure light. It's dancing around, but there's no bars. There's no obstructions. And basically, you can point a P900 or a P1000 at basically any star in any constellation, and you'll see this. There are only certain stars that are like this. And here's another thing. The whole reason I even went down this truth, quote unquote, rabbit hole was because I started noticing strange flashing stars in the sky that didn't used to be there. 51 years old, I've been doing this since I was nine years old. I had to one day throw out all the NASA noise, all of it, because they proved time, 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 and again that it was all false. This is clearly, <laughs> it's clearly not a sun billions of light years away. Do you see the difference between that? It seems to have some sort of bars, some sort of restrictions on it that this one does not have. And the majority in the night sky are this little fella right here. These are the angels, the illuminaries looking down upon us. When the stars fall from heaven to earth, according to science, according to NASA, that just popped up about 50 years ago, a sun falling to earth, which because they call stars suns, a sun falling to earth would be catastrophic. These things falling to earth, well, it's happened before. Did you just see that thing take off? My camera's on a tripod. On a tripod. It's a trip, and I'm not the only one that's caught these whatsoever at all. What these little guys are, I cannot tell. But what these are, what we were originally calling Ezekiel's wheel, the prison of the stars. The stars will roll over fire are those which transgressed the commandment of God before their time arrived, for they came not in their proper season. Therefore was he offended with them and bound them until the period of the consummation of the crimes in the secret year, which no man knows. That's a bound star. This is not. These are the ones that caught my eye. This did not. These little fellas, I don't know what they are, but I find it strange that these colors are the same colors used in a pixel to make up all the colors that you see in a scrying mirror, in a black mirror, in an iPad, iPhone, laptop, computer, everything else, digital television, these are up there as well. So we've got three categories. This one, in my opinion, this is the prison of the stars. This one, these are just happy little angels. Watch the movement. Look at that. Watch that one more time. Look at that on a tripod. I'm not touching it. 
And these are the things that originally caught my eye. Watch this in 4K. This is good quality, even though it may not seem like this, but this is really, really far away. That's what I start looking at. And zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Well, it's out of focus. Nope, it's not out of focus. It's a trip. At any rate, the fact that the Vatican didn't canonize this, well, I imagine they wouldn't because the Vatican knew that they were going to start promising to, you know, stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, come on, man. Get out of here. You know, as soon as he takes over by force, the Vatican, now it's under Jesuit rule, he comes out and says, hey, of course, who are we to close doors? Or, like Sergio Bert Bertolucci says, to open them. Do you see what I'm saying? Does it all make sense? At any rate, like, share, subscribe, or don't. But YouTube is taking us all down. It's almost over. Before they can do anything, they have to shut us all up. So there are various other ways to follow me in the description. I suggest you do that. Or don't. Richie from Boston. This is crazy because these words are showing up. And what have I been telling you the entire time? Besides, learn how to put on the full armor of God. I've been telling you that there will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. And that's what I spend almost all my time looking at. And you should too. I'm out.